Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to get the Rockbox custom firmware on your original Apple iPod. So this pretty much works on all Apple iPods. Um, these are like the really classic ones. This right here is the iPod Nano first generation, but um, you guys can check upon which um, device it actually works in this video. There is a huge list of devices you can actually install Rockbox onto. So yeah, I will be using the iPod Nano first generation for this video. So right now this just has the normal kind of Apple, um, you know, cut firmware it comes with. It's the latest version. You will need iTunes for this video. So what you guys want to do is just get your cable, like your classic 30-pin um, cable, go and connect it to your iPod, and then go and connect this to your computer, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay, so once you guys are over on your computer, what you actually have to do is go to the Rockbox website. I will leave a link to it in the description of this video. And what you guys want to do, make sure you go up to releases right here and you just want to click on download installer. What this will do is just bring us to this page and you need to select what operating system your computer is. So I have got a Windows computer right here. If you've got Mac, you can go ahead and choose that. And we're just going to click this and it's going to download the zip file for us. So just wait a few seconds for this to finish downloading. And once it's done, we can go to our downloads folder and find it in there. You also must have iTunes on your computer. As you can see, mine is open right now. I've also restored my iPod to the factory settings and I made sure it's on the latest software version. So once we've got iTunes open, we can just minimize this we need to find Rockbox. we need to right click it and we need to just select extract here this is just going to put it into a file folder we can then go into this and find the Rockbox utility.exe all we have to do is just double click on it just agree if it asks you like any messages and then it should just load up like this we can just click on ok right here so basically what we have to do from here on the configuration page, we have to click on Apple or whichever device you've got. Now I'm going to select the iPod Nano first generation because this is the one I have. Now we just click on OK and then on this page you can add you know stuff if you want to but I'm just going to simply just click on install. So then it's just going to start installing. You just have to wait for this to complete. Um, it shouldn't take too long. As you can see, it will be extracting everything over onto your iPod. And um, as you can see right now, it's probably nearly finished. So there you go. Package installation finished successfully. So we are just going to click on OK. And now that is it. Our iPod should now have Rockbox custom firmware installed. Now you can have a look through here. There is some other stuff you can do. Um, you can uninstall Rockbox if you wish to. And um, there's manuals, there's information. There's loads of different stuff you can add. But um, yeah, so what we can actually do now is just close out of this or just come out of it. We can have a look on our iPod. And as you can see, we've now got the dot .rockbox folder. So um, you can add themes if you wish to. It also comes with Doom installed and it even has a Doom Wad on here. So I think what we should do now, let's go onto our iPod and um, let's have a look. And now guys, once we are back off our computer, if we actually just take a look at our iPod, so we can just disconnect it now, um, let's just take a look at it, and you guys should see that Rockbox has now been installed. So let's just take a look at everything on here. We have got files, database, resume playback, settings, recording, playlist catalog, plugins, system, and shortcuts. That is pretty much everything on here. Um, and yeah, you can even install more stuff onto this. Now the thing that I think is cool um, are the games. Now if you scroll down and go into the plugins and press enter, this is pretty much where all of the games are. So we've got games, applications and demos. Applications, um, there's just you know tons of different home apps in here. There's like paint in here, so much random stuff you can have a look at. I'm pretty sure there's like calculators, um, clocks, um, battery things, all of that kind of stuff. We can press menu to go back. Um, we've also got demos, I'm not too sure, uh, are these like game demos I think? So maybe these are all like demos of different games. And then last of all, we have got the games folder. Now this is probably the best one. In here we've actually got some really cool stuff. I'm going to show you guys Doom right now. So if I just scroll down, here you go, Doom. This is probably one of my favorites. Let's just load up a game of Doom right now. So if you scroll down and go to play game, it will actually launch. And here you go, we've got a copy of free Doom on here. Now I'm pretty sure you can run the actual Doom as well. You will just need to copy across the rad. But um, what we can do is we can actually start a new game on here. And um, yeah, this is actually fully playable, which is pretty crazy. So here we are on Doom. Now it might be slightly laggy, but um, it should be like pretty playable. 
So we can bring our gun out, I'm pretty sure, yeah, so if you press down you can actually shoot them. And um, yeah, pretty crazy. So obviously I'm playing it a bit of like an awkward angle because I'm trying to film, but you guys can get the hang of it. Like, I could definitely actually play this. As you can see, I'm shooting all these characters right here. This is the free version of Doom, um, so obviously they're like weird characters, but you should be able to get the main version as well. And yeah, it's pretty cool this thing is actually playable. Now most of these games should have sound as well. If you want to exit back to the main menu of Doom, all you actually have to do is flick the switch at the top, and then you can just flick it back. And then once you've done that, it's actually going to come up in the menu. So what we can do is we can scroll down to Quick Game. If you just press Menu, it should go to Quick Game. Now we can press Enter, um, Enter again, or just Menu again. And it's going to quit back to the main menu. And then we can exit. So yeah, this is a Rockbox custom firmware over on your iPod. This pretty much works on every iPod, as I said before. Now you guys are probably wondering, how do you get back to the normal system menu? Basically, what you have to do is you have to hold the menu and the home button at the same time. So start to do that just like this. Um, first of all, I'd recommend holding menu. So press menu, start holding them both, hold them both for roughly about 10 seconds. Now as soon as the screen goes dark like this, what you actually want to do is you just want to put it on lock. What this will do will actually convert it back to the main operating system. So you can have Rockbox and the actual um, you know, Apple operating system on here. So basically we can run both. And um, yeah, this is really nice. We can actually run two operating systems on here. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys how to install this. I thought it was pretty cool. I really like these things. They're really small. And um, yeah, it's really nice having custom firmware and playing some games. And obviously we can listen to our music as well. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.